Yeah, that's right, Reggie. As you mentioned, the Gamecocks only had a one-point lead in this one at halftime, but then they turned things up like Roscoe Dash in the third quarter. They scored 29 points, which were the most ever scored in a single quarter in a women's Final Four game. And they, unlike in games past, in Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight, when they gave up leads, late in the game. They, that did not happen tonight, folks. And Camilla Cardozo, she was a big reason why. She tallied 22 points, a game high 22 points, and she also had 12 rebounds and two blocks. But again, the story of this one was that amazing third quarter. And here's the team on what changed in the second half. I, I, I like the fact that we, we, we turned up. We turned up um, the heat. I mean, we put a lot more pressure on them to, to go deeper in their offense. We put a lot more pressure on the basketball, um, especially their point guards, um, the people that were initiating their offense. Man, we knew in the second half everything was going to go down. Um, you know, our shots didn't fall in the first half, but we told ourselves that, you know, the third quarter is going to be our quarter. It's going to be our run, and that's what happened. We want it. Like, we want this championship so bad. I feel like we, we feel like we deserve this, and we deserve to be in this moment. And that's what we did. We shared the ball. We, we were unselfish. We played great defense. And that's, and that's what we had to continue to do. Yeah, that last player was Ashlyn Watkins, the Columbia native, had a historic performance here in Cleveland on Friday. So she finished with 20 rebounds, which were the most by a player that came off of the bench in women's Final Four history. The Gamecocks will face either Iowa or UConn on Sunday in the national title game should certainly be a exciting one. Reporting here in Cleveland at the Final Four with the Gamecocks, Chandler Mack, News 19, WLTX. All right, Chandler, thank you very much.